In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create these nice sub labels here. So we have here the labels, and then we have the underneath still additional sub labels. For example, we have the shop one and two, and then this is under the category of north, shop one, about three and four, south, etc., etc. So this is a quite interesting, but let me tell you that we're going to use some tricks here that will not always work, but will work nicely when we have even numbers here. So let's start to look how we can do this. So now let's explore how to add sublabels on the X scale in Chart.js. So the first thing what we need to do is we need to go to chartjs3.com getting started. This specific link here, you can find this as well in the description box. Once you're on here, copy this boiler template here. As you can see here, scroll all the way, scroll all the way down for this chunk of code. Copy this. And if you want to understand this code, the boiler template code, please watch this video here. So then paste in there, cut out the title, I'll just put the title in here. Save and refresh, there we are. So the next thing what I want to do is to maximize the size, 80%, like that, save, and there we are. So now what I want to do here is basically this. I want to have a, a sub label in here. And how do we add these sub labels in here? Well. Go to use a very neat trick, and this trick again will only work if you have odd numbers here. And maybe what's nice to do as well is let's add up this in here. And if we save this, refresh, all right. So, what I want to do is just to give some different colors so you can see here the different items. Let's say this will be the black sails, and here we have the red sails. Save that, refresh, there we are. All right, so what I want to do now is basically, uh, let's see here, we're going to work on the scale. So, and the part of the scale is basically in here, enter, and then we can say here, by default, there's already a X scale in here, and this X scale covers already this part. However, what I want to do now is you have here up all the labels. I want to cut out the labels, and then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in here. So once I have this, the next thing what I want to do here is eventually have a second x-axis label. So I'm going to copy this, put a comma, let's say here x number two. And this x number two could be anything else. So let's change this here first of all. And I will only make six items because that would be more appropriate and this only works with even numbers. So what I'm going to say here, uh, let's say here, uh, shop one, and let's put a comma here and just copy this. There, there, there are six items. And if we put in six items here, while we have seven items here, or the seven values, it will automatically maintain six. It leads basically based on the labels. So the labels define how many data points are being displayed at a time. So I'm going to put in this here, make sure we have that string, but remove that excess comma. And then in here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all of this. And then here, what we're going to say here, for example, north, and then this will be south, and then mid, for example. And mid could be anything, of course. So we have this here now, and if I save this and I refresh, all right, interesting, we get an error because I forgot a comma. Save this, refresh, and as you can see here now, we have these nice grid lines here, and what is also quite nice is basically we have this additional grid line here, there, and there. You can see this is slightly darker, and this one is slightly darker, compared to this one here, which is just not between these lines here. So that's very nice because this will basically highlight like a separation. However, we can still remove this because maybe we don't want this. So, so <coughs> sorry. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to remove them. Say enter. And then we're going to say here, grid, draw on the chart area. Let me just put this on false to remove the grid lines on the chart area. Save this, refresh, you can see here now the grid lines are the same color here and there. And we still have these ticks that we want to maintain. All right, so now we have this. So the next thing 
what I want to do is you can see here there's no real space here and maybe you might want to have some additional space here so it just looks a bit more 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 uh, suitable so how do we do this well what we can do here and basically what we're going to do is we're going to do it on the x scale and not on x number two why x number two is below the x scale is basically the x scale stacks on top of the x scale number two or x number two scale so that's very important to understand so in here I'm going to say enter and then what we're going to do here is we're going to say here after fit and this is a very very useful option as well and in here this is a callback functionality that allows us to control the width of the scale or the height of the scale and there's even more items here but it's quite it's it's still quite new and fresh for me so i still need to, uh, to dig deeper into this however it's a callback functionality that allows us to control basically some of the width so what i want to do here in this case not the width but the height so you can see here i have this uh, callback functionality and with the function error expression I'm going to say here console log then I'm going to put in this save and just show you what we're really doing or what we're going to do open up developer tab you can see here we get two times the scale here it shows two of these values which is fine it just repeats itself anyway or I think it's not even repeating twice of this I think it's even a different case because it's uh, triggering only this one here so it should not be repeating twice because of this something else probably or maybe the animation anyway doesn't matter or maybe because we have two, two data sets but that does not matter so much if we have one or two data sets but what does matter is the following I want to control specifically here the height and you can see here the height is 28 pixels and that'd be probably from this point all the way here we can measure that if I do a uh, screenshot structure you can see here if I go down you can see here approximately 28 pixels should be fine because it's 30 pixels including the lines that we have so so that's probably the item so this height I want because I want to say now instead of 28 pixels I want to add additional 10 pixels so what we're going to do is we're going to copy this and then we're going to say here we're going to say a ctx dot height then we say a plus equal 10 pixels and this is a command in JavaScript which says get whatever the height is and add an additional 10 pixels on there so if I save this refresh I'm not sure if you notice it you can see here we have now more space and let's maximize this with a extreme high number 100 save refresh there we are so if I put this back on zero save refresh all right and then I'm going to do this one more time 10 and then I'm going to put my mouse on this point and then if I refresh you should see here look at that it jumps up nicely so this is basically the way how we can use this but of course again a warning this is a bit of a workaround a bit of a hacky trick let me show you why so for example imagine we have another data set of shot number seven if I save this then refresh look what happened here because we're only working with even numbers to make it work correctly but if it's an odd number in this case 7 is an odd number you can see here this and this is just slicing it or slicing the scale in three parts which I don't want because now maybe you want to have multiples so you have to really be careful with this this will work only if you have a even number here and you have this proper even structure here or odd structure that supports whatever is above so when you divide it whatever you have here there should be an even number coming out here so 6 divided by 3 even would be equal to 2 so that's how it works this is very important to understand so if you like this video maybe you want to have for example clickable links here at the bottom on the scale which is also possible in that case I'm going to recommend you this video here on how to create clickable X scale uh, with links in charges where every of these labels here becomes a nice link so that's another option to consider